We know other stations are on a lot of holiday wish lists, and we're going to show you what to look for when shopping for one. Let's bring in Ed Mansour. He's the CEO of WeatherStem and just a, a great man in general to, uh, to get to know. All right, Ed, let's talk about this. Yeah. Uh, this is let's, obviously the Mac Daddy of Weather, of weather Systems. Yep. Let's run through the range of costs, too, with sure. these. Yeah, so the, the lower end costs are going to be in the few hundred dollar range, two, three hundred dollars. Right. Uh, up to this, uh, which is called the Vantage Pro 2 from a company called Davis Instruments, that is just under $1,000. Okay. So there's a big spectrum of cost. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, you know, right around, you know, a few hundred dollars up to about $1,000. So this is like what you might put on a school or a business. Exactly, and yep. And these are the kind of things maybe in your backyard. Exactly, yep. Right, yeah, but some of, the, you know, some of these big systems can actually store data, oh, yeah. hold data, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for you in a long, in a long period of time. Yeah. Now, how, could you just say in general, the bigger the system, the more install work you'll have to do? Yeah, generally, the, the amount of work you're going to have to do to install it properly is going to be a function of the sophistication and complexity of the system. And generally, the more cost, the more features, the more functionality, and the, the the more involved the installation is going to be. Let's talk about these two. Do they have similar sure. features in terms of what they observe? Yeah, um, the, the basics core, pretty much all weather stations are going to measure temperature, humidity, uh, pressure. Uh, and then from there, you get wind speed and direction, precipitation. This model has radiometers to measure solar radiation, sunlight. So, um, you know, again, you can it's... Get real, you, you can get technical. You have soil oh, yeah, yeah. measures. You get water, yep. you know, yeah. temperature you can, measurements You, you can have system. separate modules to measure your swimming pool temperature, uh, the soil moisture in your garden. So th this is sort of the base, and you can build on from there. It's sort of very modular. Right, so, you know, speaking of, a viewer asked, can you add on to an existing weather station? Yeah, oh, yeah. Some, somebody yeah. just asked me, can you add a camera on to an existing weather station? Yeah, definitely. They're very, these, they're very extensible. You know, so you can get something relatively affordable, um, install it, and then add Did to it over it? the course Did of time. All right, so here I am at home. I've okay. got internet. Uh, I've got power. Are those kind of basic necessities yeah. before you even start? So you, you have two parts of it. You have, with a Mac you have like sort of like that. the hardware part. So you have the actual weather station, right. the equipment, and then you have, what are you doing with that data? So you need something, for instance, this little thing here is a receiver. So it's, this thing has a solar-powered transmitter that is sending data to this. And then that is going to connect to your internet. It's going to connect your Wi-Fi. You're going to plug an internet cable into it. And that's where the fun begins. Because what good is this if you can't actually interact with the data, right. if you can't view it on your phone, if you can't view it on the web? So there's, right. th there's two parts to it. And let's say you're, you want to become a National Weather Service spotter. Mm -hmm. Would they verify the readings that you get from this weather station? Yeah, out of the box. Uh, for instance, wow. you know, there, there's many manufacturers. We just happen to be, uh, these two models are from a company called Davis Instruments. And out of the box, they make it extremely easy to push it to services like Weather Underground, the Citizens Weather Program. So there's, it's, it's really easy. It's come a long way. And, and that information yeah. eventually ends up helping you all yeah. with the forecast you Absolutely. generate. But let's talk about getting good data, because sure. it is important where you put it in your Absolutely, yard. Absolutely, yeah. You're, you're not going to want to put it near a tree. For multiple reasons. Right. Uh, first of all, if it's too close to a tree in the fall, this thing, which measures rain, is going to be clogged with leaves. In the spring, it's going to be clogged with pollen. So you're going to have to clean so it you a lot more. Open space exactly. For you know, and, and and if it's too close to a house or some other structure, you're going to obstruct the wind readings. Um, if it has instruments that measure rate solar radiation, you don't want it in the cast of a shadow. So you generally want it in an elevated location out in the open, where you can get more accurate wind, rain, and solar radiation readings. What's the most popular station um, in terms I, of? Okay, I want. I got my my son's dying for, or my mm -hmm. daughter's dying for a, a weather station for sure. Christmas. Well, at the end what's, of the what's going to start? At the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And I myself, if you can afford it, the higher end model they last a long time. Right. Uh, there's not that much maintenance involved with it. Uh, so this is a really good model. And what's the, how do you go about purchasing these? Uh, if, you know, if you go online and search weather stations, you'll see a ton of uh, you know, resellers that sell and have reviews. So it's pretty easy. It's Are come you a seeing a bigger demand for these? Or I, go yeah, definitely. Them? Yeah. People want their own personal weather station, yeah. especially with a camera. Yeah. I, I think I want this big one now. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. I have this one, but I want that one. When you see how much weather changes over a short distance. So if I have one at my house, yeah. my kid's elementary school is a half mile away, I've seen an inch and a half of rain fall at my kid's school and not a drop yeah. at my house. Yeah. Microscale yeah. weather yeah. data. Yes. Exactly. We can That's measure it. Yeah. And it's fun. It, it really is. is. Fun. Yeah. Great stuff.